And I just think it's an absolute dereliction of duty. If you see a problem and if we agree that, that we need to address it, then if you're a leader, participate in a solution, right? The first bill that we proposed was for a pathway for citizenship, was to fix a broken immigration system, which was broken under the previous administration. And I'm just trying to process what I just heard from the vice president, that if you see a problem, well, let me show you a problem. If you're a leader, participate in a solution. We just had 200 plus migrants cross here in the Eagle Pass area. We're in Maverick County. They're from all over the world. In fact, uh, I just met a few of these migrants here. Excuse me, sir. Uh, where are you from? Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. And uh, do you have any message for President Biden? We, th we thank him for accepting us for living here. Okay, thank you very much. I don't want to interrupt. As you can see, now let me just show you guys a little bit of how the processing is done. Really, the Border Patrol is doing a remarkable job of the overwhelming numbers. We get this every single day. It's like clockwork. And I just think it's an absolute dereliction of duty. Over 41 countries to include Somalia, Syria, Uzbekistan, Thailand, Vietnam, China, Russia, and in this sector on Saturday we had four Iranians. But as you can see what's going to happen now, just to give you a little more of the inside, these giant white buses will take the migrants. There go our, our uh, friends we just met from Sri Lanka getting on that bus. Exactly what will happen to them we're not sure, but more than likely they will be allowed to stay and will be released uh, with a uh, a piece of paper saying that they can go and claim asylum at an ICE office at their leisure. If you see a problem, participate in a solution. Now, if you are from Mexico or the Northern Triangle, Honduras, Guatemala, El Salvador, you're largely going to be sent back. But the large majority of the folks you're seeing here will be able to stay and will be released. And many of them will get on those buses and go to New York or Washington or Chicago because Governor Abbott is having his border communities overwhelmed. If you see a problem, and if we agree that, that we need to address it, then if you're a leader, participate in a solution.